I'm Anthony from Digital Puppets Animation Studio. Recently, I made a video uh, for TikTok uh, with a Libet's Capaldi model. I was scared the color used to be so and I'm going to go through the process of how we made that from start to finish. So this is the character that we made. Um, so this is a 3D model. And on the left, you can see the reference image that we started with of Lewis Capaldi. So the first thing that we did was we needed to find a front on image. Didn't have too much shadow or light information um, and a, a clear image of the face. Uh, so we'll be using um, Headshot to build this. Okay, so to start, we're going to bring the image into here. So I'm going to select same image you want male and just gonna press generate so now you can see that's brought the model in and it's not done a bad job um, that looks okay we've got a bit of texturing to fix first thing that I will do is go in and kind of change the proportions of the body so I'm going to play with the proportions so I want the character to be a bit smaller and have quite a big head so I'm gonna go for full body I'm gonna bring this down to that 80%. I'm going to use the morphs and just start growing a bit. So, like, I want his head a lot bigger. I want definitely want to sort the legs. I mean, you can also use the proportion tool. Sometimes this can work a little bit better for. Adjusting so we can get to the body. We can pull the chest down. So, you know, this is the one thing I like. Um, I love about Character Creator is that you can just really play around, pull and push things around until you get something that you like. And I'm also going to go to the skin, go to the head, and go to the blend map. We can start getting rid of some of these details. A little bit better. I start getting uh, rid of some of the details on the skin. I'm gonna bake those textures. The next thing I am going to do now is also in the blend map. I want to bring in uh, the blend map to add some. It's really nice to add some like you know kind of dark shading into the eyes and some some of that bring that some of that detail back onto the face, but still keeping it uh, kind of stylized. That's looking okay for now. And we're kind of getting somewhere with it. While we we're just working on the textures, one of the things that I, I want to do, I want to make the textures for the eyelashes a little bit more like a cartoon texture. So what I normally do here is go to the opacity and I'll send that to Photoshop. And then in Photoshop, I want to get rid of the lower lids. And then press save. And you'll see that all updated here. We can play with the shape of them as well. So I am pleased with that. What I'm going to do now is add some hair. I've got some packs. Uh, you can model the hair yourself um, in a 3D application or if you've got any packs uh, to use it's always handy I've got quite a few different ones and it's just finding something that matches and then adjusting it to fit so with this one we want to get some eyebrows okay so I'm going to use these eyebrows and I think I'm actually going to use this hair and we can um, adjust this in ZBrush or using the edit mesh tool to make it match more like his hairstyle. At this stage now, I want to, oh, the other thing I'm gonna do as well is on the texturing, on the head, by the arms and legs, I'm just gonna bring the bump map down because I don't want all that detail. Like I say, it's more of a cartoon look that we're going for. Um, so now I'm just gonna come in and sculpt the model. So I'm gonna, um, Solo this one out and just start blocking in in the shapes. You know, get rid of some of this detail. So I want to put symmetry on. Um, so I want to put it on move X for symmetry, and now I can just start playing around with the shape of the character. And then it, with this now, it really is just more of, um, it's, a, it's a stylized thing, so 
if you want to look at your references, play around until you, know, you get it. It, it. It's a lot of back and forth until you, you kind of get something that's looking right. You'll kind of come in and out of ZBrush quite a few times. So that's probably a good point to go back. Oh, actually, no, before we go back, I am going to have a play around with the hair. So we're going to turn over to the hair subtool. Give it a move. And next, we want to go to the eyebrows and just. Okay, and then we're gonna send it all back and see how it looks. And make sure to match the scale. Let's have a play around with some of the proportions again. I'll make the lips a bit smaller. Okay, so we need to do something with these eyeballs. They're looking a bit, a bit weird at the moment. Eyelashes are definitely a bit wrong. Let's uh, close the eyes and let's do a eye blink. We want to get rid of the tear line and the eye occlusion. Okay, so there's a few bits that I need to fix in here. I'm going to um, fix the eyeball shape. So we're going to go to eye and eyeball. So a bit of scale up. Definitely want to bring the depth back. Out. Not too bad, and then play around with some of the colours and play around with um, some more settings as well. So, um, okay, let's get the hair matching colour a little bit better. So we want this one to be. So we'll do that. We'll do the same with the eyebrows. So eyebrows. And then match a little bit better. Um, We'll have to go into the eyes and we're going to adjust the eyes as well. So, let's go in and pick a different eye. Let's change the material only. And then we'll have a play around with the colours. So, let's, uh, let's go back again. That one to 30. Outline and radius wise, I think we want to keep them pretty, pretty much like that. And it's getting there. So, with, uh, with these uh, type of models, it is a lot of back and forth trying to match reference. It's just you've got to kind of keep working on it. And sometimes I find with um, do, when doing character type work, you've got to kind of step away sometimes and come back to it. So what you think works and is looking right at one time, um, an hour later you can look at it and go, oh no, no, that looks nothing like it. <laughs> so it, I do recommend sometimes just taking a bit of a break away from um, from the character and coming back with fresh eyes and seeing how it looks. But it's a case again, like going back and forth through ZBrush. We can go um, T-Pose, match. We'll just tidy up some of the you see the mesh is getting a little bit messy so we can just come in here and another good tool um, in here is if we go back into headshot and do the the morph sculpt down here. This is great for playing around with the overall shape of the face. So for uh, for the tutorial purposes, I think I'm quite happy with, with how it's looking here. 
again, um, there's now there's a few things that I'd want to clean up, so we're going to have to have a look at the eyes closed. So we want to go correct eye blink, fix that. We can fix our lashes in the uh, profile face editor. We can fix eye element. That'll fix up them as well. What I like to do here is go into the facial, edit facial, expressions. I always find that the this is a great one to kind of see what the teeth are actually lining up like with the expressions. So this is probably where I would adjust these. And we know that the teeth are going to be uh, touching here as well. So this is the position where they're going to meet. Um, so here I want to go to mouth. Sorry, not mouth. I want to go to teeth. Right, kind of bring the actually want to scale that one wider. I mean, they'll do for now. They're probably not the best teeth, I don't, um, but they will do. Uh, so, the next thing I'm going to go and do is I want to get the texture for the teeth. So, we go to the teeth layer, select so both of them, and I just want to make them a little bit more wider. So, I'm going to turn the uh, desaturation up. Bring the brightness up. Is we want to have a play around with the facial profile editor. Once you've like kind of morphed the face, you want to fix up some of those morphs uh, so that they look a little bit better. So things like the jaw open or the smile and things like that might might need adjusting. A lot of the time it's just a case of turning down the strength, but sometimes you've got to bring it to ZBrush and just uh, re-sculpt some bits and pieces. The main one um, to start off with is the jaw. So, I mean, to be fair, that's not too bad. I just don't want it to open so much. So I'm going to bring this one down to about 67. I'm just going to update that one. Um, let's do smile. See, it's a bit much at the moment. So if we bring that down to about 50, I think that's a, that's a little bit better. So it's a case of just going through and fixing these. I'm not going to go through all of them because I think a lot of it will be okay for what we want to do. Um, but yeah, I'll just go through and check all these and see how they're all looking. We'll have a look at Blink. So you can see this is where the eyelashes go a little bit funny. So, I'm just going to go to Edit Mesh, that way. select Element, select that eyelash, just the eyelash, I'm just going to move this one into place a little bit better. So that looks a lot better. And just do only one slide out. Okay, and then the only other thing I would check as well is the, um, the visims, see how they're looking, and um, they're not too bad. I would probably go through and fix up some of these as well, but they look okay. So this is a very quick test of building the character. Um, as I've mentioned before, lots of time can go into um, really refining this character uh, and getting it looking exactly how you want. So if you go back to the original that I made, um, which had a lot more time spent on it, so the process for this one was exactly the same. It was just a little bit more back and forth to ZBrush and some tweaking to get the face looking a little bit more how I wanted it to look um, and the proportions. So I'm going to use this one as the example to show the animation. But the, like I said, the process is exactly the same. Uh, it just, there's a bit more time spent on this, uh, trying to just match up those uh, features and adding a little bit more detail using skin gen. So this is the end of part one. Um, please make sure to catch part two, where I'll be explaining how we did the animation uh, for this animated video.